All right, we are live. I'm gonna refresh my screen here so I can see y'all. As soon as I get something going on here so I can see. Um, let's see here. All right, anytime now. Hey y'all, hopefully everything is going well tonight. Um, I'm just getting the screen up here so that I can see everybody's comments and then I can get started. So let's see. Okay. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Michelle. How are you ladies doing? I think I've got everything going on now. Three comments. We're good. Okay. Comments are live. We are awesome sauce. So hopefully everybody's doing well tonight. I kind of had to wait till the last second to pop on. Hello, hello, Miss Patsy and Peggy and Dee. I've got some night owls tonight. Nobody getting ready for Easter? <laughs> hello, Kayla from Maryland. Um, so today was one of those like, uh, we'll see how things kind of go. I knew I was gonna go live for y'all. Um, what I wasn't sure about was the timing of it just because with the kids and everything and Enrique is today. Um, so the pictures I posted on my personal page, he's adorable and don't get me wrong, he is an adorable kid. Um, but man, is he a spitfire. He should have been born a redhead. Um, no, I'm, I'm going live right now, Deb. I, I think you're talking to me on the other one. So hello. Yes. Happy Easter's Eve, ladies. Um, any, anybody getting ready for Easter? Hello, Miss Kathy. Hi, Sue Ann from Washington State. I actually got all the Easter eggs ready right in front of my three-year-old. Um, so Enrique doesn't understand this whole concept yet. Last year he did the Easter egg hunt. He didn't understand what he was doing. Um, this year I think it's making a little more sense to him. He knows there's stuff inside the eggs. Um, and he'll put stuff in the eggs. So hello Barbara. Hello Shirley. Hi Deb. Um, so he'll put stuff in the eggs. So I just went ahead and put all the eggs together and my husband and I are trying to get away from candy. So I put like six pieces of candy, like little fun size Skittle bags and M&M bags and like six of each of their eggs. Hello ladies. And then um, I put money in the rest of them. I didn't want to go a penny. I did. I, I put a quarter into each of their other eggs and I think they have like 24 eggs a piece. Enrique's eggs are blue. And um, he also has the teeny tiny chicks and Easter bunnies. So 12 and 12, 24. And then Alejandro has the green eggs and he chose soccer balls. So each of those has a quarter in it. Then each of them are gonna have their, I hit the microphone, I'm sorry if you just heard a weird noise. <laughs> Hello Sue and Shirley Ann. Um, e each of them have a golden egg and it's going to have $5 in it for each of them. Um, and then of course I've got their Easter baskets, which doesn't really fit in a basket. Like Enrique's getting a bubble lawnmower, Alejandro's getting some sort of Fortnite thing. And um, then Alejandro's all, also gonna get $10 in his Easter basket so he can use it for Robux or V-Bucks, whatever it is he wants to do, whatever. Um, I got the idea of color, making sure that they each have their own color. I think either a Facebook thing like passed me or a Pinterest thing passed me, I don't know which one. Probably one of those Facebook videos where they show you something cool's happening. You're like, whoa, what a great idea. Um, so I did that. So yeah, I've got to go out there after this and hide the eggs. And then I've got to put Alejandro's basket together and everything's done. Our Easter bunny comes down the chimney just because that's the more convenient, most convenient place to put the baskets. I don't know why. He's related to Santa Claus somehow. <laughs> Barbara's like, I want to be your kid and have money. <laughs> Um, I don't know if it was a cool idea or if it, I was just being I had tons of quarters on hand from the craft fair <laughs> so I was like I'm just gonna put quarters and everything <laughs> all right so I'm gonna get this part going and we're gonna put this little guy on here I don't know if I just cut him too small all right and then I'll show y'all what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go off of a patriotic sunflower and I saw it posted. I've seen it before, 
but I saw it again recently in the Unique in the Creek site, um, the Creekers group. Um, so just letting y'all know that ahead of time. And then I just kind of modified it for the smaller board and, you know, moved some of the colors around just because I like a little bit more blue. Um, but that was it. I love the design of the sunflower. And um, y'all know I like crisp things, you know, clean lines and edges. So it caught my attention and it's hard to catch my attention. So, hello. Hi, Lori. How are you, sweetheart? I think we've both been under the weather lately, dealing with different things, and you've been dealing with business stuff. I've been dealing with kits. Those are almost done and going out. So, all right. Lots of money from the Easter Bunny. Well, then I want to come to your house and be your daughter, Barbara. <laughs> All right, ladies. So, um, Lori, you wanted to see what that finished wreath looked like. I'm going to pull it over real quick, and I'll take a picture afterwards now that I have good, better lighting in the room. But, um, Lori, this is what the finished patriotic rose turned out looking like. So, I'll take a picture of it afterwards. This is from the other night's live when I wasn't feeling that great, and I even, I forgot who asked me, but they were like, are you tired? I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> Um, arthritis has been kicking my butt y'all lately. I don't know what it is. I am trying to lose weight. So my hope is, uh, my hope is that will help losing some of the weight. I've already lost seven pounds. It doesn't sh look like it, but I lost seven pounds. Um, so hopefully, I don't know, it'll get a little better. I'm ready to try some of that CB whatever oil because this is getting ridiculous. All right, so for tonight's sunflower, we are going to use the little board, okay? Um, and again, if the only place you can get the, the 12 inch boards right now is on the Unique in the Creek website. So go there, use code um, SPARKLES, duh, Isabel. Use code SPARKLES and you can take 10% off. I would stock up on these guys. Lori, are, are the little ones going to be in plastic soon? My dear Lori, my love. <laughs> I'm looking at that CBC oil. Patsy, the only thing that throws me off a little bit is it's related to you know what, marijuana, and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Everybody says like there's nothing in it, but it's, it's the idea that it comes from the same plant, but then my other friend was like, well, you used uh, hemp string, don't you? I'm like, yeah, and they're like, you use uh, hemp clothing, don't you? I'm like, yeah, and they're like, well, what's the difference? I was like, okay. Mid-May plastic. Love it, y'all. So right now it's wood. Um, Mid-May come plastic. So we're going to do the 12-inch. I also made my own center. And y'all, I braided five yards of yarn. I never want to do that again. There's got to be a better way. There's got to be like a device that braids the yarn for you. But like five, five yards of it. Anyway, this is just the little piece of yarn that you're seeing. So basically, I took red, white, and blue yarn, each three different colors, and I just braided them illegal. Not illegal. That's because I'm just reading the comment. <laughs> I braided them together. <laughs> You've made the Patriotic Rose awesome sauce. I love it. Um, there's got to be a different. I did find some parachute cord that's red, white, and blue, but it doesn't have this nice braided look. So I've been looking for um, a ribbon that's already braided where you don't have to do it. I may just do it in mesh next time um, because yarn, y'all, it sucks. That's all I have to say about that. I've, I was cursing and I started off on this side of the room and went out all the way outside of the room and then all the way down the hall just to finish braiding it. <laughs> CBD, yes. So, but um, I really like this. So this is what I was going for. not cod oil <laughs> cod oil that does not taste good all right um so we're gonna go ahead and get started and um guys if you're looking for the kits um i can make a kit with this i'm not making a kit from this though um i will i'll find a better alternative put it that way i think i've got a better alternative we're good i'll try something tomorrow um, mesh braids. Yeah, that's what I was going for. I was like, let me try it with mesh. Plus, it takes up a whole lot more space, and I won't have to worry about this plat this little foam part behind it. Um, but, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. But if you're using the larger boards, it's the same concept, y'all. 
Um, you're going to start on the outer row. You're going to work your way inside. And um, if you're doing the patriotic sunflower like I am, it's touch and go. Like you're going to have to take a look at where everything lines up. But if you're doing a regular sunflower, um, you just keep going around in a circle and you follow the same exact method. Set next row, then the row after that, then the row after that, all the way to the inside. So um, it's easy, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring y'all down. Hi there, Robin, hello. Sheila, hello. You ladies made it just in time. Um, I'm also gonna adjust the lighting because I'm trying to keep it off the Mevo. Um, somebody told me that by putting the lighting there, I caused the Mevo to overheat the other night. So we're gonna see how this goes. Um, I have a feeling it's got to go in front of the Mevo, but we'll see. Let me move this around. It takes a little bit of finagling. All right, I think that is pretty good, although you got a shadow there. Let me try this. If I do that, how is that for y'all? Is that good? Because I'm about to zoom y'all in. I just want to make sure that the lighting is good. Hello from Nebraska. How are you, J. Arlene? All right, so we're going to do that. That is so awesome sauce. Guys, I love my Mevo. Um, okay, so how is that for y'all? Is the lighting good? And if, well, okay, you, you decreased again. Why are you decreasing again? Don't decrease. I didn't touch you to decrease. All right, there we go. All right, hopefully everything's good now. It looks good, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Awesome. I don't, what? Lori, why does it keep getting bigger? It's upsetting me. Okay. Let me hit that. No. I swear to God. Y'all, me and Mevo, we are going to have a fight in a minute. Is that good, Lori? Why, why is it not, like, staying? Why does it keep getting bigger? I swear I'm having, I mean, I'll keep going with this way. It's just, I was hoping to zoom y'all in. Maybe Lori can tell me why, and then I can fix it. <laughs> All right, so um, definitely send some likes, send some loves, y'all. Yep. Send some sugar my way. There we go. Send some sugar my way. Um, okay, so I'm going to show y'all a couple of different ways to fold this real quick. If you're purchasing one of the kits, okay, um, and this is the regular sunflower, when you're doing the regular sunflower, and this is a 10 by nine, by the way, um, a 10 by 10 would be awesome too. But if you're purchasing, I do, I should clean it, Kathy, but look, my fingernails are clean. <laughs> if you're doing the regular sunflower, here's one way you can do the petal, okay? You just work your way up diagonally, okay? And then bring it up this way. There you go, and put it in there you go. Put it inside the zip ties this way, okay? Mevo, don't fight with Isabel. I know, right? It's fighting with me, and I'm upset, Lynn. Um, okay, all right, ask Dave why it kept increasing, because I would like to know, because it worked great the other day, and now it does not want to work for me. All right, so the other way, I mean, there's different ways. You could do it that way. You could do a fold in on each side, but the way that I'm doing this one tonight is I'm just going to take this Fold it as if we're starting off with the rows, okay? Um, and then you want this to be your tip right here. So line that little guy up, all right? And then just kind of bring it together like that, all right? And then straighten it up. There we go. Get it the way you want it. I tell you what I should have done. Let me redo this one. This one's bothering me, probably because I already folded it the last time, but I'm still gonna use it. All right, let's start in the middle this time and work our way that way. There. You have to work with it a minute. There, all right. And then I'll cut it a little bit later. Not a big deal. All right, okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and I've already put my little black dots. Y'all know how I like my little black dots. I've already put my little black dots on everywhere where I'm going to put my um, blue at. Why is it, why? 
I don't know why the mesh is always a guy. Why can't the mesh be a girl, right? It's glittery. Maybe because in the animal kingdom, the guy is usually the pretty one, right? So, at least for peacocks. I saw a male and a female peacock the other day, and I was like, really? I'm like, man, that female one is ugly. So, I was not impressed with her at all. All right, there we go. And I've already made one over here that turned out a whole lot better the last time. So that's why I'm like, I think it's because I had already folded the mesh, but not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this guy in there too. Um, I'm doing seven in my outer row here. So just giving you guys a heads up with my guy here. My guy, my guy, talking about my guy. There we go. All right, and stick that little one in there. Okay, and guys, see how easy it is? I mean, my goodness. Like, I love this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get another one going. All right, and this time, let's see if, it, if it's nicer to us. <laughs> like, let's hopefully he's nicer to us today. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna go to the middle, and I bet you it probably has something to do with the fact that I folded it the first time. Yep, look how nice that turns out. So don't sit here playing with your folds. Pick a fold and go with it. <laughs> That's what I'm stick sticking with. Oh, look at that. Hi, y'all, Jean. How are you? I love that from Ohio. Awesome sauce. There we go. Oh my gosh. So I got Alejandro a water blaster for um from the easter bunny and new swimsuit and then enrique same thing because if you get one one something then you got to get the other one the same thing um so enrique got a paw patrol water blaster backpack thing that he can put on his um back and what else did i get him oh the grandparents got him the bubble lawn mower Alejandro's mostly getting a lot more money because he likes all that Fortnite stuff. Yes, is that what it is? The Dean Michael pedal? I don't know. I knew I saw it online from somewhere, but I just couldn't remember. And I can't keep up with names, honestly, y'all. I did not make the pedal up, I can tell you that much. So, I just know that I like the crispness of it and how nicely it sits together. So, it's a gorgeous pedal. I love it. And there's a different way you can do it too. You can do it um, the other way where you're scrunching it from here and then you have to do an extra twist to it. But I am not going to do that. So there we go. And you get the hang of this. Main thing is that you wanna line up the tips. Honestly, a 10 by 10 would probably work better. And if I sell this as a kit, it will be cut to 10 by 10 um, because a, beginning, a beginner wreather might struggle a little bit trying to get a nice shape all right there we go I want you over there I didn't I didn't bring you right there we go I'll play around with this one for a minute because he gonna bother me let's do him again that's it's that do again that's the problem y'all all right right there that's why I said if he was a 10 by 10, wouldn't be an issue. Size matters, y'all. Okay, we're gonna move on from that one, aren't we? <laughs> vacation in Myrtle Beach. I wanna be on vacation in Myrtle Beach. We're going to the beach, um, what is it, middle of June. So I'm looking forward to it. Alejandro has not been to the beach since he was three. And who's playing? I'm not playing. I am playing. Alejandro's been to the beach and hasn't been to the beach since he was three, and that was in Puerto Rico. I wish he could remember that, but he can't. Um, and then Enrique has never been to the beach. So this will be interesting to say the least. We shall see. I'm worried about my shirt. Yet. Like I'm not taking my shirt off though. We're not doing any of that kind of stuff. All right. But this is going to bother me. I think. Uh, next time I gotta remember to wear a different shirt because my shirt is just grabbing on all of this y'all I'll just have to back up <laughs> okay let's keep going 
All right. I have, you can hardly hear me. Oh, why can you hardly hear me? I have a microphone plugged in, but you guys can't hear me. Can y'all hear me now? I feel like I'm the gecko thing. Ooh, well, I don't want that because now I have an echo. All right, I can't listen to that. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure why that's the case, but I do have the microphone on here. I can move the microphone a little bit closer, and we'll see if that helps out. Maybe a little bit more. Microphone's on. Okay, let's keep going. There we go. I do like that color, too. I like that royal blue. This is actually the color I used for my Pennywise wreath that I did last year, um, which I have already found a better way to do him, so I cannot wait to show him off, but I just needed the summer to pull it together. I just don't have the time right now. So, did I put the zip ties on? I did. I put the zip ties on just so it would be faster because nobody wants to watch me put zip ties on. <laughs> And some people like to already have their zip ties um, closed and they will just leave it like with extra space. But um, because of the fact that I'm sitting here trying to arrange these in here, I did not want to, I, I wanted to just leave them open. So, all right, so the blue on that side is done. So now I'm gonna go with a red, white, peppermint pattern. Okay, so red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red. I have something about red and blue together. I don't like seeing white next to blue. I don't know what it is, but it bothers me. So I set it up to make sure that it would work that way. Pop out you. Come on, you too. I don't need you there if you're gonna be all frayy and stuff. All right flip him around. There's that him again, right? All right. I am making a red, white, and blue, mainly because I've got a craft fair coming up, um, and I'm trying to bring some smaller wreaths, so I actually wanted to make the red, white, and blue one on the 12-inch board. Um, you would just need more mesh for the larger one. That's all. I just needed something, since this is at a retirement home, I needed something that was more affordable and that fit on the interior doors better than um, my larger wreaths. Because interior doors, they're smaller than the exterior ones. So, oh Sandy, I'm sorry, but you know what I'm gonna go back and do though? Um, if it's hard to hear, I have to go back to the other one and, and add closed caption to it, but I typically go back to each of my videos and add closed caption. I've been dead with that arthritis crap this week so I haven't had a chance to do it on the one I did the other night but I'll go back and do it for that one and I'll go back and do it for this one as well so you can always go back and take a look if it translates correctly I hope so <laughs> all right there we go perfect all right go to the middle and scrunch it All right, and then just kind of give it a little fluff this way. Make sure you might have to push it down in certain areas or pull it a little bit to get it the way you want it. There. And I'll pretty much stay in position once you, come on you, you're being a butter nugget today. Quit being so poopy butt. If I would have cut it 10 by 10, it would have been a lot better. Okay. All right, we're going to go with it. There we go. There we go. You just needed some encouragement. That's all. Okay. I'm going to stick that one in here. And zip tie him in. Hello, Miss Pam. How are you? Diane from Florida. Hello, Eva. How are you? On this wonderful Easter's Eve. There we go. Awesome saucy. Okay. Let's keep going. I love these colors. And I love... Aw, oh, dang it. Did y'all see what I did? Booger butts. I got so happy-go-lucky with my red that I totally put it in the wrong spot. 
That's okay. We'll switch it up here. Not a big deal. This is going to end in red over here anyway. And I'll just put another zip tie in. Not a big deal. At least it's one of those situations where you realize it early. <laughs> um, so there we go. Back in business. All right, let's grab for that white. I knew something looked funky. Just takes, I'm a little slow today. <laughs> I am a little slow. And I'm also left-handed. That does not make me slow, I'm just saying. It means I usually have an extra step in stuff when I do things. Okay, there we go. And we'll just start from here now. All right, I love the colors though. And these are metallic. Hello. Yep, it is easy to change, Nancy. That's why I'm like, it's not such a big deal. It's easy just to clip right on out and just go back. Not a big deal at all. Just be careful with the mesh. <laughs> the mesh does not always like to be played with, especially if it's regular deco mesh. And I didn't use the rotary to seal these, um, mainly because it's metallic. But if it's regular poly deco mesh or if it was poly burlap, I would definitely use the impulse sealer to seal it shut. All right, there we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness. And my, um, whatchamacallit, my three-year-old went to bed super duper early tonight, so I'm a little concerned right now um, because I have a bad feeling he is going to wake up early like really really early so yeah it happens we all have days where you got to start something over again you know so it is what it is there we go pop that one in here definitely I would cut it at a 10 by 10 um, you'd have less of a chance of having issues with it that way but there we go all right I definitely feel better tonight than I did the other night I will tell y'all that so supposed to be nice starting on Monday you're going to bag seal away <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we're getting that 70 some odd degree weather back tomorrow because um, we're going over to my mother-in-law's house, the other mother-in-law to um, tomorrow and take the kids over there. But I wanna make sure I get back in time so that I can play in the garden a little bit. I'm still working on that living teepee for the boys. And I got all the edging in. I had to go buy more soil. I did go ahead and put the beans in before the storm came the other night, though. Um, so those are in. But I got to get the morning glories over there, and I've got to get the cypress vines over there as well. I just fold it over, find about the middle, and squish from one side. All right, and then lay that flat and squish from the other side. There you go. And that's it. Isn't it gorgeous? I like this petal. This this is awesome. I know, awesome sauce, booger nut, <laughs> butter nugget. I actually think I was in the office Friday and the principal was out and the assistant principal was there and um, I was looking for the principal because we're supposed to ask him for permission to leave early and I wanted to go to my son's spring fling. And so I'm looking for the principal, and I completely forgot he was out that day um, at a meeting, and... She's like, oh, he's out for BLT. And I said, oh, butter nuggets. And the assistant principal was there, and he turned and looked at me, and he said, did you really just say butter nuggets? And I said, yeah. And Anna's like, she sure did. <laughs> He just shook his head. 
So um, I got to leave, or I, I got to leave to go to his spring fling anyway. I have an awesome administration. So, but yeah, I, I have a terminology for everything. So there we go. All right, bring it back together again. You really can't mess up with this petal. It looks gorgeous either way. <laughs> All right, and here we go. I like the burlap center too. I saw this done with the burlap center. I just wanted to keep going with the red, white, and blue theme towards the middle, but you can easily go with the burlap and um, just go for more of a rustic feeling. Shooting, oh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to look that one up. I, I don't think I've heard that one before, Barbara. I'm gonna have to look that up. So, all right, and we're gonna come over here. Okay, this one is a little funky. Did I cut it at the right thing? Let's bring it back together again, pull it out. I'm wondering if I accidentally might have cut this one at eight inches or something. We're about to find out. Because if it doesn't work this way, ah, oh, there we go. Okay. It is a smaller petal though. That bothers me a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we can't finagle it. I'm wondering if this is a different size. I don't like this one. Throw that away. Okay. That looks right. Hello, sugar booger. Oh, did you say sh sugar bugger? I like sugar booger. Sugar boogers, that would be intriguing. Oh, sugar boogers. <laughs> uh, kind of an oxymoron. All right, there we go. Bring it together right now. Get together. I've got a song for everything, I swear. Okay. There we go. Once I get it in there, I don't want to play with it, so. That's why I want to make sure I get it right. Awesome sauce. Okie dokie. Trim that little guy off. And let's get a white one in there. Here we go. Oh, no, she didn't. Sugar booger. I love sugar boogers. That's up. Oh, I've got it. Guess what, Darlene? Sugar booger. I sure did. Here we go. All right. And we're going to squish it. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to squish it. We're just squishing everything tonight. Awesome. You know, we did an Easter egg hunt last year. I, this year I was too tired. Um, but last year we hid wine bottles. And um, I hid vodka for my husband and rum. But this year I was too tired to go all into that. I mean, heck, I ordered all the kids' stuff from Amazon, Walmart, Target, and Kohl's. And just compiled it when it all arrived here. So, uh, I guess I was a little lazy this year. There we go, and there we go. All right, and that part's done. Isn't it gorgeous already? I'm loving it. It's like McDonald's. <laughs> Barbara, yeah, I know you love singing, girl. <laughs> um, I am using mesh from Craft Outlet. It is metallic mesh. I love metallic, but at the same time, like I said, you can't really use the impulse sealer on that so you're going to kind of have to deal with the fraying a little bit and trim off a few piece uh, trim off a few pieces so just giving you a heads up on that otherwise i would go for um, regular deco mesh if you're trying to make a less expensive one or my favorite would be poly burlap um, so yeah all right we're going to start the second row And I'll trim the pieces towards the end, and then I'll put a little bit of sealer on there. Would you skip the outside row where there's only one hole? Beth, honestly, what I would do is I would drill more holes. <laughs> but yes, yes, I would just skip that outside row where there's only one. 
Um, but knowing me, and everybody does, I would just drill more holes. <laughs> Why? Because I love to use that drill. So, all right, zip tie that guy right there. Oh, it's got good coverage too. I'm loving it. Use that. It's like Lightning McQueen. So, all right, there we go. Yes, it is. It, it's that time of the year now where if you're not stocking up, or you haven't stocked up, it's gone. I mean, they're gonna be coming out with the Christmas stuff pretty soon. So, I actually spoke to the guy at Hobby Lobby and they already have Christmas in the back ready to pop out. So, <laughs> just FYI on that part. Okay, so I got this one here. This is gonna go here, here, here. I may end up coming back and throwing one there, but for now we're going to continue. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about it. Um, first time using the small board to get this done. I am ready for Easter. I'm not cooking a darn thing. I, I am. I'm a whole drilling woman. <laughs> it is so easy to say that wrong right away. <laughs> No, I'm not cooking a thing. We're going over to my mother-in-law's house. She's cooked the main course. I'm going to stop by Walmart or Target or whichever store is open tomorrow and pick up a fruit dish. And that's it. We're going to call it a day. I might pick up some chicken nuggets too. So, we all know Isabel doesn't cook. Last time I cooked, I exploded eggs and they went over the kitchen like a ballistic missile. That was impressive. I didn't know that was possible, but it is. Oh, there we go. I think Lori was showing me something the other day. <laughs> Lori was showing me something the other day, Barbara, and um, she asked me about it and I was like, yeah, and I said, I'd spray paint it anyway. <laughs> spray paint, holes, jigsaw. I have too much fun with stuff. I'm actually going through jigsaw withdrawal right now. So, but I've got some ideas in the garden. So maybe I won't have withdrawal anymore. All right, I'll have to show y'all um, the TP once I'm done with it. I did not make that TP. I'm gonna say that right now. I'm doing all the decorative parts to it, but Miss Georgia, who is the daughter of a friend of mine, Debbie here, I get all my herbs and flowers from her because I buy local, small business. And um, her daughter, made her a teepee and I fell in love with it last year. So you press it a few more times and it works. I mean, I've had it work. The problem is, is you have that little plastic thingy and that bothers me. I don't know. I think if you're careful with the mesh, it's not so much of a problem. We're done with the blue there, y'all. Let me switch back to the red. Um, I think if you take your time with the mesh, it's not that bad. And then you may have to trim off a few pieces. I'd like to know what part of the chicken is nuggets. Well, we won't go into that. <laughs> chicken nuggets. <laughs> uh, probably everything. Probably even the feet. Who knows? Maybe it's the shoulder. Maybe it's the breast. Maybe it's something else altogether. All right. That's why I love y'all ladies. You guys are a hoot. Hoo hoo. All right, we are gonna bring that one in a little more. He does not wanna cooperate with me today. There we go. Again, cut them out of 10 by 10, ladies. All right, so let me take a look-see here at this. Okay, there we are. Um, let's start over here. Okay, and again, I'm gonna have to take a look at this once we get going. I know it looks a little odd, the spacing, but it works out just fine, ladies, I promise. Ooh, collard greens, I wanna come over to your house. Do you use collard greens and you put vinegar in it? I made the mistake of going to a restaurant and they gave um, collard greens, which apparently is their specialty that everybody loves. 
Um, and they gave collard greens as an appetizer. And immediately I put my hand out and I was like, no, nope, no, thank you. I don't eat that stuff. That's gross. And he was so offended. And so then he takes it back, the waiter, and the cook comes out or the chef. And I was about, I about died. I'm like, oh my God, the chef's coming out. And he goes, what's wrong with the collard greens? And I said, I just don't eat it. Collard greens don't taste good. I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm not interested. I'm sure it's delicious, but I'm not interested. And he, and he went on about his collard greens and how it has to be cooked a certain way and how he was not going to move from the table until I took a bite of his collard greens. And he literally was going to stay there. So I did take a bite. And actually, I was pleasantly surprised. Why did the rooster want to go to KFC? He wanted to see a chicken strip. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so immature. <laughs> Oh, I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> Just go on a cruise with all y'all ladies. <laughs> okay. And here we go. I'm a little funky here. That's okay. We're going to make it work. How funky is your chicken? How loose is your goose? My goose is totally loose. Takes me back to my cheerleading days. I don't even know if that thing exists anymore. All right. Took my brain a second. Wrap itself around itself. Uh, I already have a lumpy brain as is anyway. All right. Bring that together. All right. There we go. Same thing. And in it goes. All right, and put that, shut that shut sure closed. Yeah, I actually like the collard greens at that restaurant, but I have not found too many people's collard greens that I like, I'll be honest with you, ever since that restaurant. All right, let's bring a white out. And I'll have to estimate what I used for this and everything, because I don't know. I just decided I have a whole bunch of red, obviously. Red, white, and blue mesh sitting around here everywhere. So, there we go. And by the way, those Patriotic Rose kits, will the kits will become available again on um, Wednesday. So, I already have six people on the wait list that have replied back. I sent emails back to people, but you haven't replied back. So um, I've already got six on the wait list for the next batch, FYI. So if you're trying to get on the wait list, make sure you send it to my Etsy account and message me there. And these ones that we're using tonight, don't forget to use code SPARKLES. Take 10% off on the Unique Oak Creek website. All right, almost done. We're going to move into the next row now, okay? Let me follow my little black dots over here. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've got so many things that I want to work on, y'all. Some people. Sandy, I don't know how to cook anything. My mom tried to teach me. It did not turn out well at all. And it shows now. She did try, though. Bless her heart and bless mine. So. My idea of cooking is to use the Chick-fil-A app to order it. And then they bring it to my car. Um, and same thing with Smoothie King. And then the same thing with Starbucks. Basically, any restaurant that has an app, I order from, and then I bring it home. That's my cooking. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Sandy's like, I bet you do. <laughs> oh. And I get my cool little loyalty points. They're like, would you like to redeem your loyalty points? You're so loyal. Yes, I would, please. Thank you. So. <laughs> All right. I'm loving this thing. This thing is cute. And it would look even better in poly burlap or fabric mesh. I would love that, too. Fabric mesh would be gorgeous, too. So. And I'm gearing up to get these done. I like these little guys. These little guys are fun. Dean Michael, that's the name of the pedal. I love the pedal, y'all. Okay, here we go. 
I actually like this better than the other way that I do um, a similar style petal, but this one is more consistent than the other one that I use. So I like it. Ah, oh, I love the blue. I'm in love with the blue. We're not going anywhere with that song. So cabbage rolls. Oh, cabbage rolls. That sounds good. Oh gosh. Okay, see Barbara, you eat out four to five nights a week? I kind of do. I pick it up and take it back in. If I didn't have to worry about feeding the kids too. I mean, Abuelita does a lot of the cooking. Um, I just eat at a weird hour. So that's the problem with me. I eat at a weird time. If it's meat, I'll, I'll eat it. I don't eat rice, rice though. I do not like rice at all. So, and my stomach does not like rice. I mean, I look in there and I'm like, God, I'm pregnant. So, I just try to stay away from rice now. I try to stay away from milk too, actually. Milk makes me look like I'm pregnant too. So, but cabbage roll sounds good. What is Runza? Is that a wine? Because if it is, I'm interested. <laughs> okay. Y'all, I've been so lazy as far as cooking goes, I've actually opened up a bag of lettuce for the guinea pigs that I usually res reserve for them. And I've actually started just sitting there on the couch eating their lettuce because I was too lazy. And then I'd steal some of their broccoli, which by the way, do not give a guinea pig cauliflower because as soon as I'm done with all this, Apparently, I gotta go clean up diarrhea. If you've never seen pig diarrhea, guinea pig diarrhea, it is not fun, y'all. I was horrified. I don't think they're getting any more broccoli for a while either. That's a nightmare down there. So, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it was coming though. One of them kept passing bad gas. So, all the way home yesterday. <laughs> Oh, I like soup too. Soup is fun. Okay, let's stick that one in here and that finishes up the blue and then we're gonna go back to candy cane stripes. Not strippers, but stripes. All right, and my four inch zip ties that Lori about dies with. I will admit for some of these on the inside row because um, I'll flip it over in a second. I used some of them between. I didn't use the sets of two on this row. I used the space in between the sets of two so I could keep these as much straight with the colors as possible. Um, it is a little eh, you know, so. But yeah, a six inch would work better on that one. But I can still get it done with a four inch. You just gotta know how to use what you got. There you go. All right, get this guy in and keep on going. Yup, yup, yup. I tell y'all what I wanna do. I, I'm looking forward to this summer. I would like to go to the vineyards up in North Georgia and just spend a day, spend a day up there at the wineries, at the vineyards, eating cheese and having a few glasses of wine. And then take a break, a two hour break and then head back home. <laughs> Ah, I went up there to Ella J and they have those wonderful wine slushies. Yum, yum. Those are awesome sauce. There's nothing worse than bad gas. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> ah. All right, got that in there. All right, next one's going to be a white one. Let me get this leg down a little bit. Hold you out. There we go. If it doesn't lay down right, it's probably because you need to fold out the side of the petal a little more. So, just a heads up on that. Yeah, what is Runza? I don't think we ever found out what Runza was. I'm curious about that. Does it Runza in your family? Terrible joke. <laughs> ah, there we go. Mystery food. Mystery food? I don't know how I feel about mystery food. All right, there we go. Is it magical? 
magical. All right, we're gonna put this little guy here. Let me check something white, red, white. I hate the fact that some of these are ending on white because y'all know how I feel about the red, but um, we're gonna make it work. I will be happy. There we go. All right, next up, red. I may have to cut just like two or three more because we're almost done. Bring that. The key point here, you can do a nine inch. That's what I've been doing on here is a nine inch. Um, you just gotta line that tip up very well. That's the key on that one. And then as you're gathering it from here, just kind of keep your hand over there so you get the right shape pedal. All right, bring that out there. Do the size of the zip ties matter? I think it's a personal preference. I personally, um, I like my four inch zip ties, everybody knows it. So I think it really just depends. Other people are more for six inch zip ties. So I think it's whatever your preference is. There we go. All right, I'm gonna stick him in here. We're almost done. And this guy can be done really fast. There we go. Awesome sauce. So basically I started with seven blues on the outside and then I just like patterned the rest of the blues so that it would end up about the same way. Bring that out a little bit. Okay. We're gonna see how that goes. All right, next up, we got a white. Awesome sauce, no mystery food. Uh, let's see here, fruits, meats, all canned. Make your own butter and cream. Make your own butter? Like with the, with the one of those tall thingies and a stick? I don't know how, I feel like I'm a dunce in the kitchen. It does sound yummy though. I will eat it. All right, and here we go. Let's stick that one here. Bring that one up. I think my husband's finally home. He went out to the movies with his brother to go watch um, Pet Cemetery. I have not read that book. I mean, this is a movie. But I have not read that book since I was in middle school. Holy crap, and it scared the crap out of me then. So, all right, next up, let's get our blues back out. It's already turning gorgeous though. I'm loving it already. Awesome saucy. Take some Imodium. Wait, Imodium stops you up. Does that mean you're gonna have diarrhea? Or like, you mean to like take some Tums or something. I don't wanna have diarrhea. Diarrhea is not fun, y'all. All right. There we go. Bring that over here. And let me see where I put these little things. There we go. These little guys I put in pretty tight, so I've got to be very careful because I reused some of the same holes um, so there's actually two zip ties coming out of each of the holes that are on the inside. There we go. Awesome. Three more to go, and this one is finished. I think we're going to see. Awesome. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I may go back and add some more. Probably what I'm going to do is flatten this little guy out to lay him upside down a little bit. So, all right, let's get the other blue. We're going to put a blue. I've got another four here. All right, so we're going to put a blue here. I don't think there's one between here. Yes, there is. There's one right here and here. That's why I said I reused some of these holes. Once you get to the very, very inside. That way I could make my blues... Pinch it. There we go. Too much for this old cow. 
All right. Okay. All right. Let's take a looky here, y'all. Right in there. So I'm going to push that zip tie out of the way so I can squeeze this one in there. I could have probably made it easier on myself, but I wanted to make sure I had all my bases covered. There we go. Okay. And then I've got another blue here and another blue here. So I do have to cut just a little more. Let's move this yarn piece out of the way. There we go. He's turning out gorgeous though, y'all. I'll tell y'all that much. Gorgeous patriotic flower. All right. Bring that in. Deb, you asked me something. What'd you ask me? Oh, that was a while ago. She, you, apparently, Facebook is still sending me um, a notification <laughs> telling me to respond to a question. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Sometimes Facebook is dense, and it's not my fault. There we go. A runza is a yeast pocket filled with beef, pork, sauerkraut, cabbage, and seasoning. Oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. Please send me some. <laughs> Feed me, Seymour. Oh my gosh, that does sound yummy. I think you've got everybody envious now and wanting some of it. All right, so we're gonna need one more blue on the inside. So we're gonna cut that out. Right around there. Throw that back over. Okay. And get that here. Go to the middle, pinch one side over like a little ant. Hold your hand down, pinch the other side over. There you go, right there. And then just kind of spread it out how you want it. So, <laughs> it's your year to have Easter dinner. Ah, oh, no thank you. People wouldn't like eating at my house for Easter dinner. I wouldn't make absolutely, actually it would be Etha that made the stuff, but she made this wonderful codfish thing the other day. It was scrumptious. And then she fried some little fishies today. That was yummy too. Had little onions in it and things like that. Oh, the batter reminded me of um, the Vidalia onion batter that you would use. Okay, so next up, let's see here. I'm gonna start with red over here. So I think we're gonna have to cut two of these reds. So let's get that set up on my 10 inch line. There's one, and I know everybody's got all these fancy schmancy little mesh holders. I just use my forearm. It does the trick. Okay, honey baked ham. That's yummy too. Y'all are making me hungry, but it's too late at night for me to eat, but I can drink. I tell y'all what my favorite um, drink is ever is a Pisco Sour. It's not food related. I have nothing to share with y'all about food. I don't know anything about making food, but I do know my drinks. Um, but a Pisco Sour is yum, yum. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna start over on this end. I'm looking for the pieces. There they are. Let's pull it up. And I basically, used every single hole, doubled it over. All right, so there we go. Right here. Right in there. I may move that blue over a little. We shall see. Pull that up. I don't skimp on my mesh. No, no, no. Got that. The only thing I wanna do here is I want to see if I can move that to the back. There. I want my blue in front. I like my blue. I'm partial to my blue. There. Okay. Now I'm happy. Alright, let's get a white. I've got plenty of the white. 
Okay. Here we go. Slippery nipples. <laughs> I like the Pisco Sour. So you've got the Pisco. That's the liquor part of it. Um, and then you also have to have a raw egg in it as well. And foam it up. Meringue it. And then you've got to add a little bit of sugar in there. And I don't know what else it is because I just drank it. But it's hard to get a hold of Pisco around here anyway. Quality Pisco. You can get a hold of the cheap stuff. Um, I don't want to use white. Uh, shoot. No, yeah. Yeah, we do. Duh. All right. And go in here. Let me see. There it is. Looking for the hole. Got it. Okay. This is turning out gorgeous. And it's a full wreath, too. Could you imagine if this was on the large board, y'all? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see here. So now, it looks like I have the other one here, but it feels like something's missing. We're going to stick another one in there because I don't like that. That bothers me. I am using regular mesh with metallic, yes. But I am using the craft. Oh, there it is. Where is it? I'm here, booger butt. I see you. Uh-huh. I knew I put it in there. I was wondering about that. Okay, let's get a red. You missed all the good stuff. No, Jean. You missed all the talk about, about different drinks and all sorts of stuff. Food, too. That stuff, too. There we go. Green beans. Yum. I'll take a homemade roll. All right, all right, this one. There we go, now I got it. Wanted to be a little pain in the butt for a second there, but we straightened him out, so we're all good. All right, again, I doubled most of these, which is what's taking me so long. So instead of basically having four in here, um, I think I might have eight. And when I say doubled, I didn't put two through the same hole. I'm saying I just reused. I did the sets of two holes, and then I did the space between the sets as well. So that's what I mean. All right, this is when a six inch would be handy. Gosh darn you. Uh, but I took a look at the price on the six inch. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> I'd rather just use my four inch. My four inches are so cheap. It's like a $4 difference, y'all, on Amazon. So. Yes, the drinks are, Jean. You can't have a party or a gathering without some drinks. I'm sorry. Otherwise, it's just, yeah, no. Not fun. Not for me, anyway. It's called, I, I think those are the type of parties where you want people to go home. <laughs> as quick as possible. <laughs> ah, so you make sure not to have anything that would encourage them to stay. <laughs> That's my philosophy there. All right, this is it y'all, this is it. I'm trying to think here though. I think I want my, um, boop, 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 boop. I think I'm gonna put this behind. I can always gently change it afterwards. But for now, he's going behind. All right, you know what else would look cute in the middle here? Um, you could do the burlap, you could go to um, Hobby Lobby or whatnot and get one of those big chrysanthemums and do that as well. Um, any of that would work. Let me take a peek -see at it, y'all, so I can make up my mind. All right, there's the top. Um, I actually, let's see. What do I want to do here? Do I want to keep it this way? Or do I want to switch it back and put the white in front? Let's give it a shot and see what happens. Let's see. I don't know. I kind of, I actually kind of like the white in front, y'all. I actually think I'm going to switch it. I got to make sure, though, because once I put the, um, yeah, I think I like it better this way. I'm keeping it this way. All right, we're keeping it this way. 
Everybody's got a preference and that's okay. May have a different way of doing it. That's cool. All right, we're gonna straighten this guy out. All right. So, all right, here we go. Trying to stay with, okay, so now let's bring the yarn center. And I think it really just depends on the look that you're going for. But I'm, I don't think it really matters. I think it's more or less Isabel being anal about this and wanting it in a certain order. But you really can't go wrong. And by the way, y'all, just to so, show y'all here. So this is just red, white, and blue yarn that I braided together. It sucked. Um, and then I just put one row of hot glue and then just started putting the yarn around. One row of hot glue, put the yarn around, blah, 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 blah cut it, tapped it in, okay? Um, and you can see where I took the yarn right down here at the bottom since I had that little knot. And um, I just took a floral pin that I had cut so that otherwise it's gonna go all the way through. I cut it shorter and just stuck it in there in hot glue. Here I took two pipe cleaners, twisted them, and then I put two floral pins um, perpendicular to each other um, and those were also cut short so that they wouldn't pop through the other side. So, and that's kind of how I little make my little attachment here. Okay, so now I've got two holes here. All right, we're gonna lift this up. All right, and then we got two holes here. There we go. I'm gonna lift that up, pull them through. There we go. Pull that in. I'm not going to do anything to it yet because I want to make sure that once it goes in, that's it. So I'm going to push it, and that way I know how much to pull. There you go. Make sure you push it down good. Don't be lazy about it. Put some effort into it. There. And then just pull. So I'm going to go for these two first. There. So basically I'm choosing opposites and then twisting around. There. Okay. Push it in again. Hold it down with that hand so I'm still holding it. And then bring it and twist it. Everybody's got a different way of doing it. This is just one way, y'all. Okay, and then bring this guy back out. I twisted it several, several times. We're gonna trim this off. Trim this guy off. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take it and feed it underneath there. And then I'm gonna take this guy and feed it underneath there. And that's it. So you got a nice clean look to the back. I still cover my backs. I know not everybody does, but I do. So, and then you have this nice, neat, little, print, pretty center. Could be a little bigger, but I think it is just fine. So then, if you have a fleece shirt on like me, which isn't a good idea, you're going to have to go around and play the trimming game a little bit. But once I cover this in sealer, I'm not going to have an issue. So it's not a big deal. All right. So I'm going to try, try to get most of the bigger pieces, and, and that way I can just show y'all real quick. Um, and then I'll come back and get the teeny tiny pieces after I turn the camera off. Um, but at least this way, you'll be able to see. And take that little guy off. Some of these fall, come right out. And it's not too bad, actually. If you take your time with the mesh, the fraying won't be too bad. Um, I would definitely roll your sleeves up. That'll help with it. Know that you're going to have to trim some off at the end. But this guy is gorgeous. I'm loving it. Is that yarn or rope? I used yarn because I could not find the three different colored ropes. Um, I crimson color and I did not want burgundy crimson I was looking for 
a brighter red and I could not find it in the rope at a decent price. So, because I'm always thinking about price when I'm doing it too. Because that way if I ever need to replicate it, you know. All right, I think I'm about done. Let me double check. There's a few pieces over here. Not much. There we go. Anything else? There we go. I hear my husband, he's back. Right here. It is gorgeous. I'm loving it. Oh, and I love the petal style too. I'll fluff the petals out a little bit more later, but I'm going to hold him up so that you guys can see him. Um, I got to get Lori that picture of the rose. And then I'll take a picture of this one tomorrow because I like to walk away from it and then come back and take a look at it again later. So, all right. Y'all ready to see what it looks like actually standing up? And y'all remember, if you're going to get the small flower boards, you got to go onto the Unique in the Creek website, use code SPARKLES, and you can take 10% off from there. Okay? All right, here we go. I'm going to hold him up. Give me a second. All right, going to adjust the Mevo now. Hi. Welcome back, everyone. Okay. Got that going. Here we go. And like I said, I will adjust all this later. All right, look at that. This came from a 12 inch. This is the 12 inch. I'm trying to get the good, better angle. I guess I gotta put it in front of my face, huh? There we go. And you can play with the blue where you want the blue, but I love it. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can play with the reds, play with the whites, do what you want with it. Um, and just have a good time, guys. You really can't make a mistake with these boards right here. Um, this is with the metallic mesh. Next time I'm going to try this with the poly burlap and see how that goes. But I am absolutely loving this little guy right here. So gorgeous. And how easy is it? It would make a perfect gift. It would make a perfect little donation thing. Fourth of July, Memorial Day, Veterans Day. I mean, you got it covered right here with this little guy. Now the next thing I'm going to do, because I want my petals to go back a little bit, and if this was poly burlap, it would go back a little bit more. Um, I am actually going to turn this guy upside down um, tonight and probably the early part of tomorrow, and I'm going to put two photo albums on top of the back of him, just so that we can get that mesh instead of coming forward to kind of go back a little bit more. So that's, that's my plan with that. I have two big photo albums, and I am just going to stack them on the back of it and that is it so just kind of flip it over and then I'll push him down so you know you'll get this kind of effect right here you know you push it down you put the photo albums on here let me grab them so y'all can see that's it I'm probably gonna do one I think one is plenty there we go. And then tomorrow morning, I'll just take it off. And it's going to like flatten it out a little bit more. It won't make it flat like a pancake, but it's going to flatten it out a little bit more so that it's not as ruffled towards the front. So, um, yeah. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, the concept's the same if you're using the other sunflower, if you're using the larger boards. Choose between the petal I showed you at the beginning, or you can make this petal. Either way, you're going to get a perfect result. So um, I hope that helped, and I hope y'all have a happy, happy Easter, and have a great evening. Definitely show some love, show some likes, share it, get it out, and um, I'd love to see some more creations on the Creaker boards. So just show some more of your patriotic sunflowers on the Creaker boards, and y'all have a great Easter, ladies. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Um, and if y'all have any questions, PM me. You guys know how to do that. So, um, yeah, have a great, great Easter, guys. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the kids, grandkids, whatnot. Take care. All right. You guys are awesome. I'm heading out. I got to go hide Easter eggs in the dark. <laughs> we'll see how that shrunk. We'll see how that goes. All right. Good night, y'all.